Have you ever heard someone say the G-spot is a myth, that it doesn't exist? Well, let me tell you, science experiences and pleasure all says otherwise. If you've ever been curious about what the G-spot really is, where to find it, and how to unlock its full potential, you are in the right place. Because today we are cutting through the confusion and getting real about one of the most misunderstood parts of the female pleasure. If you're new here, welcome back to Intimacy Insights by Anais, where we keep it real, raw, and unapologetically honest about love, relationships, and all things intimacy. Let's get started with our conversations for today. What exactly is the cheese spot? Does it even exist? Spoilers alert! Yes, it does! And I'm going to break it all down for you so you can understand explore and maybe even unlock something new within yourself or your partner so grab a cup of water or tea get cozy and let's dive deep so let's start with the first segment understanding female anatomy have you ever been confused about the anatomy down there whether you're having intercourse making love to someone with a vulva or you own one yourself Understanding how everything is connected is key to unlocking better pleasure and deeper intimacy. Let's start from the beginning. When a fetus is developing in the womb, its genitals don't form until around the 10th week. Until then, every fetus has the same structure, meaning that the penis and the clitoris actually develop from the same embryonic tissue. That is why we call them homologous structures. They share a common origin and have similar functions. For example, the head of the penis and the clitoris come from the same tissue, which is why both are loaded with nerve endings and are highly sensitive. The scrotum and the labia majora are also homologous, as are the clitoral hood and the foreskin of the penis. Pretty amazing, right? Let's go to the second segment. What is the G spots? All right, now let's zoom into the infamous G-spot, first identified in 1940s by Dr. Ernest Granfreberg. The G-spot is not a separate organ. It's an area of highly sensitive spongy tissues located on the anterior, that's the front wall of the vagina, about one to two inches inside. Here's the key. The G-spot is actually part of the internal clitoral network. The clitoris isn't just that little external knob. It extends internally with legs and bulbs that wrap around the vaginal canal. The G-spot is essentially where some of these internal structures converge, thereby creating a powerful pleasure zone. Let's talk about the next segment, the sensation and pleasure factor. So, what does G-spot stimulation feel like? Here's the thing, it's different for everyone. Some describe it as an intense, deep pleasure, while others feel a building pressure that eventually leads to an orgasm. Some even experience the infamous squirting phenomenon. Yes, we are going there because we are keeping it real here. So right above the G-spot is the skin gland, which is considered the female equivalent of the prostate. Just like some men enjoy prostate massage, some women find G-spot stimulation incredibly pleasurable. However, for most women, clitoral stimulation is the main pathway to orgasm. The fourth segment is how to find and stimulate the G-spot. Now, for the parts you've been waiting for, I know, yes, I know. How do you actually find and stimulate the G-spot? First, start with relaxation. Arousal is the key. The vagina tissue becomes more engorged and responsive when you're turned on, making the G-spot much easier to locate. The second one is use your fingers insert one or two fingers into the vagina and press against the front wall in an upward come heater motion you're looking for a ridged or slightly firmer area kind of like the texture of a walnut shell experiment with pressure and rhythm some prefer gentle tapping others enjoy firmer deeper pressure communicate with yourself or your partner to find what feels best for you try different angles Positions like being on top, doggy style with a slight angle, or even using G-spot specific toys can enhance stimulation. Trust your body's response, whether it's pleasure, the urge to pee, which is not totally, uh, which 
it's totally normal at first, or just curiosity, or not whatever your body tells you. The fifth segment is debunking G-spot myth. All right, let's bust some myths real quick. Myth number one, the G-spot is fake. No, it's part of the internal clitoral network, confirmed by researchers and real experiences worldwide. The second myth is every woman experiences G-spot orgasm. This is false. Everyone's body is different. Some people are more sensitive in that area than others, and that's totally okay. The fifth myth is you need penetration to experience deep pleasure. Not necessarily. Why internal stimulation can be incredible, external clitoral stimulation can just be as, if not more powerful. The bottom, line of our, the bottom line of our discussion today is your pleasure is unique and there is no one size fits all approach. So is the G-spot real? Absolutely yes. But the most important takeaway here isn't just about the anatomy. It's about tuning into your body, releasing the shame and allowing yourself to explore pleasure in a way that feels right for you. Your body is an incredible landscape of sensation. And whether the G-spot becomes a favorite or just an interesting discovery, what matters most is that you get to decide how you experience intimacy. So if you found this video very helpful, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and drop a comment below. Do you have any experience or have you had any experience exploring the G-spot? If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment. Let's start a shame-free open conversation down there in the comment. Until next time, stay curious, stay open, and most of all, stay pleasured. See you in the next video. Bye.